Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be getting ready for school, which is online today. I'm gonna to kind of be talking about going to school during a pandemic and navigating and kind of going to school, um, getting my master's degree and navigating my life right now. Usually it takes me like, let's say 10 minutes to do my makeup. So I'm gonna do my hair today too, which if we're being honest, I usually just um, throw it in a braid and then once I braid it, I just wear it in a braid all day. And that's like how I'll go to school. I'll take it out and it'll be kind of curly. And that's about it. Hopefully I didn't just light my desk on fire. Right now I am in my first year of my master's degree. I am going to school for school counseling. I absolutely love it. Um, it's very fun. I'm always learning something that's relevant to my career that excites me which is great because in undergrad, I had some moments where I was really doubtful in what I was doing. Um, I was between being a child life specialist and a school counselor. When I started school, I went to school um, for biology because I thought that people would judge me if I wanted to be a school counselor, that I wouldn't make any money. And I realized shortly after starting school for biology that I wasn't so worried about how much money I was going to make, but whether or not I was going to be happy. So I switched over to psychology because I knew I still had the option of being a child life specialist, but I also was getting closer to um, school counseling. I still hadn't completely let on that that's the direction I wanted to go in, but I finally told myself that this was the right direction for me and I'm totally happy with the choice I made. Being in my master's degree during the pandemic is a little weird. A lot of people aren't going to school in person. Some people are. Our classes are in person. Um, well, they were in person until Thanksgiving. Um, after Thanksgiving, we started going online because uh, we didn't want to expose each other um, if people went home to their families, which I thought was a really great idea. So we are now on Zoom, but otherwise we have been in person and being in person, I learn a lot better. I have learned that when I'm online, um, I really struggle paying attention. I really, I don't know, like I'm not just, I'm not good when it comes to being online. Like I'm totally just, like out there, not paying attention. So in undergrad, when I was studying psychology, I really liked my classes, I liked my professors. Um, I definitely enjoyed where I went to school, but I definitely um, enjoy where I'm at right now much more. I am going to a different school. This school, I drive about an hour. The hour drive is not bad. Next time I drive, I will probably take you guys with me. Um, it'll give me something to do during that drive, which will be great. The campus is very pretty. It's a very small school. So far, both of my schools have been small, which have really helped me, I think. There's only like 13 people in my class right now. I love how small it is. I love how everybody knows each other. If you have a question, you always have people in your class you can go to, you have friends. I would definitely say there's a lot more. There's a lot of work that's done online now. I personally struggle with presenting in person. Doing presentations over Zoom has helped me a lot because I have social anxiety, but um, I know that I can't use that forever, so I really have to get better at um, presenting in person, which is one thing that I'm really working on right now. I really didn't have that bad of anxiety about presenting when I was in my undergrad, but I think it's because this matters so much to me. This is very important to me. So I'm kind of struggling in that area right now. Otherwise, I love everything about where I'm at. I love the school I go to. I love the classmates that I have. It's a really great environment. And I would definitely say if you're thinking about getting your master's degree to do it. I know that undergraduate is kind of hard sometimes. Um, You have to take a lot of classes that don't pertain to what you're interested in. That you're kind of like, why am I here? What am I doing? Your master's degree is only about what you want to do. It's focused on what you aspire to be. 
it's honestly the greatest feeling ever. So I really enjoy it. I also kind of want to talk about navigating my life right now, what it's like to be in this pandemic and to be in my first year of school. Navigating my life right now, I started a YouTube because I kind of don't have my own hobbies. I kind of don't do my own thing. My boyfriend and I are very attached. We kind of do everything together at this point and I really wanted to find something that I can do and I can enjoy on my own. Something that makes me happy. I have been trying to go more on walks. Just kind of finding my own things to do and kind of finding out who I am as an individual. I struggle a lot with mental health and I want to advocate for mental health. I'm trying to find things that make me happy. Hopefully I can find things that make me happy and inspire me and I can take you guys along the way with me. We can find things to do together, find new hobbies, a lot about school. I am ahead in school. I'm 21 and I am finishing my first semester in grad school. I graduated my undergrad a year and a half early. I kind of want to involve you guys in navigating all of that stuff. I want to involve you guys in navigating that stuff, starting my career, what my career is going to look like. I am also planning on training a therapy dog. So I really want to take you guys along on that journey. I'm going to hopefully get my own house soon. I really love to decorate. And as you've seen so far, I really like to just share funny things. I like to be funny. I really like to just vlog to share my daily activities, that basic lifestyle, just silly, stupid stuff. I definitely want to put a lot of that on here. I just want to create an environment where people have somewhere to laugh, to relax, to watch, and we can share a lot of our journey together and navigating life. I just personally want a space where I can share my creativity and be creative. I personally am a little worried about the judgment that I will probably get from people at home. I know that for a 21 year old to start a YouTube is kind of silly, but I definitely think it could be good for my mental health and to advocate for the mental health of others and for people to just have a fun environment to go to. So this kind of all relates to school, like a lot of mental health stuff, just positivity and having a place to be creative. So hopefully you guys feel that too. You guys see that through this channel. Just going off of that, I know that so far I have posted a lot of silly stuff. I don't really have like a certain genre that I kind of want to go with for this channel. I kind of just want to be all over the place. I want to share positivity. I want to share funny things. Home decor. I want to share raising my dog. I want to share just basic everyday things. There's a lot of places that I want to go with this channel. So I'm definitely not going to just put it in one category. Not every video is just going to be random, funny, whatever. Not every video is going to be serious, sit down, get ready with me for school. Like a lot of just different stuff. Not everything's going to fall under the same category. So my hair is done. Um, I'm not sure if I'm allergic to my sweater or I'm just like nervous, but I'm definitely breaking out. So if you see that, Sorry, like I don't really know what's going on. So today I'm kind of going for like a cozy vibe. Like I care what I look like, but at the same time I don't care what I look like type of deal. Okay, so do I have any idea where I'm going with the hair? No. I crimped it just because it would take me longer. I'd say my makeup usually just takes me maybe 10 minutes to do. Something I would like to mention about being a college student during all of this, it's definitely weird. Though so in undergrad, I never had to deal with any of this. We were in person the entire time. All the restrictions you have, it's really hard to make friendships because you can't just go and hang out with these people. It's definitely a little different as well, just being in a master's program and trying to create friendships because a lot of these people don't live near campus. Like for me, I drive over an hour to get to school. So hanging out with these people, making close friendships is really quite a bit different in this 
like in this stage so it's definitely weird i'm sure it's just the same for any student who is in college no matter what point you're at right now maybe you can't even be on campus you can't hang out with a bunch of people it's very weird it's very odd compared to high school compared to what undergrad was like before all of this Things in general that are different, in my opinion, compared to when I was in undergrad. Like I said earlier, you're focused a lot more on things you're actually interested in. Everybody is there with a purpose. They want to succeed. Your professors want to see you succeed more than anybody I've ever known. I don't know if that's just my program or if this is like in general, but I have never had professors that have been so apt to see success, to want success from people. It's just really nice. It's really refreshing to have that. I had a lot of that in undergrad. I have professors that I still talk to today that I ask for advice, that I ask for help, but it's definitely a lot different now. I would say um, the professors that I have right now are very interested in what you're doing. Um, they want the best for you. They want success. They want to talk to you after class if you have questions. I would say just how intimate you will get with your classmates. I guess it probably depends on which program you choose, where you're going in life, all that good stuff. I would say we are very close to each other. We are a very tight-knit group. It is very fun to have that kind of friendship. I would definitely say the people in your class are your biggest supporters. Like these people will be your supporters for the rest of your life. These people are going into the exact same career as you are. They only want what's best for you. They will always be there for you. They want to succeed like I do. Even though in undergrad you will find friends who obviously want to go in a similar direction as you. These people are very like hey, I'm going to have the exact same job as you. I want the exact same thing as you do. So that's very, very cool. You guys become a lot more close than the people I became close with in my undergraduate. I have made some very great friends already and I'm only in my first semester here. Okay, so my eyeliner did not participate. So if my eyes look like they're two different shapes, it's because I can't do eyeliner. So excuse me. I'm getting towards the end of my makeup because like I said, it does not take me very long at all. But some final things I wanted to touch on is again, where I want to go with this channel. So there's a lot of randomness, just fun and a place for me to be creative, to share things with people. Hopefully you guys find comfort and find a space that makes you laugh, a space to kind of relax, a place to come to, to feel safe, to feel appreciated to know like hey if she can do that i can do that too i hope to create instagram content i will put a video up about that i hope that my instagram is kind of more aesthetically pleasing than the videos are i'm hoping like the instagram can be kind of a cute place rather than my complete and other like silliness and idiocy in a short amount of time i've put up quite a few things i will definitely probably not continue with the whole like posting every other day thing i just really wanted to put quite a few videos out there before i started trying to push my content on instagram and putting myself out there for people to see i know a few people have found my instagram there's nothing on there at the moment while i'm filming this hopefully there will be soon but i would like to definitely have a few videos out there before i do promote my content on Instagram. I definitely will start posting more content kind of on my Instagram soon. Definitely I want to have a space that I can share and advocate for mental health and kind of just have fun on. So hopefully this is a space that you and I can, I don't know, be ourselves and have fun with. Hopefully if you like this video or you like the other videos on my channel, you will like this video, subscribe, and click the notification bell because why not? But yeah, hopefully today you have kind of learned about where I plan on going with this channel, kind of navigating my life right now, what I plan to post in the future, and what it's like to be a master's student during a pandemic. It's really not that different other than we're a lot online. I don't know. It's really nice. It's really fun to be a master's student as I described earlier. Hopefully it has 
made you kind of think about if you want to do something like this. So thank you guys.